Yo, what up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to code this image to text AI app. So basically, you can take a photo and we can send this image to an AI model. For example, today I'm going to show you with the Claude API and it will respond with some text describing what's in the image. So this is some really cool AI application that could be used in many different practical use cases. And it's actually super easy and simple to implement. So I can show you how to code it up. Now, just a quick overview of what we're about to do in our Flutter app. We need to just import these two packages. So the first one being the HTTP package, which will allow us to make calls to the Claude API. And also the second one is the image picker package, which allows us to access the camera and the gallery on the device. And for that, we need to do a little bit of native code in the Android and also in the iOS. So let me show you by jumping into the code. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page in my main function, I'm running my app and I've got a scaffold here. So you should just have a blank white app like this. Now, the first thing I want you to do is open up your terminal and we're going to add in a couple of packages. So Flutter pub add HTTP as well as image picker. So make sure you got those packages. And the first thing I'm going to do, I want you to go to Android app source main android manifest and at the top here i want you to add in these two permissions so the camera and the internet let's do the same thing for ios i want you to go to runner info.plist and then at the top just add these two permissions so it's the same thing for the ios and android we just need to access the camera and the gallery and stuff like that so that's the first thing we need to do. Now let's start by creating a new file called Claude service. So I'm going to use Claude for the AI API. So a lot of this stuff in the setting up, you can just copy. So firstly is the base URL from Anthropic and then your API key. So this would be unique to you that you get from Claude. And then the main method that I want to create here is just the analyze image. So if we accept a image file as a parameter, I'm firstly just going to format the image in these bytes so that we can work with it. Then for the response from the AI, we can go to our HTTP to access the internet and go to the base URL. And then just a quick couple of things to set up to use the AI. We need to specify the headers, so the content type, the API key, and the Anthropic version. And for the body, we're going to use a JSON format. So for the model, I'm going to use the Claude 3 Opus model. You can change this to whatever model you want. And then we've got the max tokens, let's just say 50. And the main thing here is the messages. So the role is the user and the content. This is the important part here. So the type is the image and then we can specify the source. So we'll give the image to the AI and also we'll give some text to the AI saying, please describe what you see in this image. So that's basically the prompt. And then just at the bottom, if it's a successful response, then the status code will be 200. Then we can decode the JSON data and return the appropriate information. Cool, and then I'm just gonna handle this situation when it's unsuccessful, then we'll just throw an error. Cool, and that's it. That's all the setting up we need to do for Claude. And let me write some comments so you guys know what's going on.
At the beginning, we're just preparing the image, and then here in this method, we're sending the request to Claude. Awesome. Now, coming back to our main function, you can see we just have a blank scaffold. So I'm going to create a new file called homepage, and this will be a stateful widget. And so let's just give it a simple app bar and come back to our main and let's import that home page. Beautiful. So now we can just work with the home page for all of the UI related stuff. Now at the top, I'm just going to store some of the main variables. So we just have the image. We've got the description of this image, which we'll get from the AI. A Boolean just to see if we're loading and also our image picker. So let's import the package image picker at the top. And let's create our pick image method. So I'm going to accept a parameter for the source. So either gallery or from the camera, we can choose. So let's try to pick the file and you can also specify some of these uh, some of these information too. So like max height, max width, and the image quality, I'm going to just say 85. Let's do a low, lower image quality just to help it out. And then if the image has been chosen, then let's start the analysis. which is a method we haven't created. So let's do that. And if we have an error, then let's just print to the console what the error is. Sweet, so we can pick an image. Now with a given image, let's analyze it. So what we're gonna do here is, firstly, I'm just gonna make sure that there is an image And then let's just say loading because it will take some time for the AI to think. And then let's start the analysis of the image. So let's go to our cloud, so cloud service and we can get that method analyze image. And then once we've got that, we have it in our description. So let's set the state and update the UI as well as loading is finished. Cool, so that's our analyze image method and we've got the pick image method as well. Beautiful, which means we are just down to the build method down here, so we just gotta create the UI. So in the body, I'm just going to use a big column And at the top, we're going to have the image to display. We'll have some buttons in the middle, and then we'll have the description at the bottom. So let's just put it in a container here. And so if the image, like if we have an image, then we'll display it. If not, then we'll say choose image. Nice. And then we're going to have to create some buttons. So let's put that in a row. And we're going to have two buttons. So one to take a photo and one to pick from the gallery. So I'm just going to use the elevated button here. There it is. So if I click on this, then I'm going to call the pick image method. And we can say from the camera. So let's copy this and create the next button to get it from the gallery. Sweet, so we have these two buttons. Now, one thing I want you to do at this point is to kill the app and just rebuild it because we brought in some new packages at the beginning. So let's just rebuild everything. 
here it is and if I pick from gallery yeah we can access the devices gallery and we can also take a photo from the camera it's looking pretty good so now at the bottom we just need to have the description so this will be the response from the AI so I'm just going to do a couple checks if it's loading then just show a loading circle and then if it's finally loaded and we have a description then we'll display it it's looking pretty good so now if I just test this out and I pick an image let's pick this pink one and looks like it was thinking and it's not really letting us know what's going on oh so everything is fine now I just need to put in my API key so again this is a unique key that you'll get from Claude I'm gonna put my API key in and also I made a little typo guys just make sure to come back here and in the message it should actually say messages plural my bad for that so just fix that one and then bring in your API key and then I'm going to save this now let's pick it again from the gallery it's now thinking and then there is the AI response so the image shows a vibrant field of blooming flowers the majority of the flowers are bright magenta etc and I think that is really really crazy that we can put this in a flutter app so easily and remember in the Claude service this is the prompt so you can just control whatever you want for the prompt right all of these values you could change like for example I can say max tokens and make it bigger say 150 then it'll just output more information so a lot of things that you can play around with here if you made it to the end of this tutorial please drop a purple heart in the comments below latest